it's so weird because it's it's like my life doesn't connect I go into work and I'm I'm an instructor I'm a professor and I go to art stuff like tonight I went and dad and I both have pieces in um, a brewery and there was an opening tonight so we went to that and I go and I dress really different for that and I literally like I, I specifically like a color in my eyebrows a different color for that than I would if I were putting on makeup to go to work I don't always put on makeup to go to work but like when I do if I color in my eyebrows I would color my eyebrows in the same color as my hair whereas for art stuff I color it in a different color and then when I have to go to like medical stuff that is so removed like this week I'm gonna have a weird collision of it all because Thursday I'm gonna get up Thursday morning and I'm gonna leave to go teach and I'm gonna teach all day and have office hours all day and when my office hours are over the end of the day I'm gonna come home and I'm going to change clothes put on makeup and if I had makeup on already and change my makeup so that I have my art version of me put together and I'm gonna go to an open mic night and I'm gonna spend the whole day trying to pretend that it's not the one-year anniversary of my dad dying and I am going to come home that night and go to bed and follow whatever directions I have to follow for the fact that the next day they're going to do crazy stuff to me at Rush in Chicago. And so these like three individual slices of my life, four really, because there's the whole situation where like, my dad died and now I'm in charge of all of these things that aren't really mine to be in charge of because um, that was never something I thought would be my life. A year ago, my dad was alive, an old friend was here from Michigan. I did not frequently perform at open mic nights. I still kind of fancied the idea of maybe someday singing with a band, but I had taken a break from doing much about it. And uh, I was getting ready to have one more lumbar block done. Uh, which I later found out three of the six I didn't need they should have known after three was a bad idea but I can't reason this combination all of these things at some point shouldn't the fact that I have to live with this the CRPS monster Shouldn't that mean I don't have to do all the other stuff? Shouldn't that mean I don't have to be a teacher anymore? I don't have to be responsible for all this other shit? And shouldn't I be okay with that? Like, I'm sure I could not be a teacher anymore, especially since I physically really can't. They had to move all my classes into my building and even then I still kind of have trouble getting to the one that's on the far end but I can't bear not to do it so that's one of those thoughts that keeps me up at night is which like which part of this 
if I don't get remission from this particular treatment, what's next after this, after six weeks of a uh, thing down my spine? Really hope I get remission. I really hope I don't have to answer that. <laughs>